Sometimes parents and adults tell us things and we think they are just trying to ruin our fun. Trust me, I know how it is and sometimes you just want to go out and have fun. But listen, they're not doing it to ruin our fun, but they're doing it because parents have what is called wisdom. That means they know things that we may not know and sometimes we have to listen, even when we don't understand. Right now, I want to talk to you about a boy named Emmett Till. You may have never heard of him, but his story is a big part of black history and how African Americans were treated poorly in the United States. Think of Emmett as a kid who may be like you or someone you know. He loved to have fun and run around in his hometown of Chicago. Emmett was just a normal little boy who lived with his mom and dad in the Northeast. His parents said Emmett was good at heart and sometimes got into trouble because he loved to pull pranks. They also said that he was very smart. They also described him as very outgoing and willing to talk to people. In 1955, Emmett was 14 years old. That summer, Emmett got a chance to go down and visit with his family in Money, Mississippi. Now in 1955, things were completely different in Mississippi. Back then, black people were not treated well at all. They were not allowed to be in the same places as white people or even talk to them. This really worried Emmett's mom because she knew her son would be off to visit her family soon. So before Emmett's mother let him go away to Mississippi, she told him that he had to behave different on vacation. She told him he could not talk to white people and never to look a white person in the eye. This was because if he did that, many black people in Mississippi were killed because of people who hated them just because of the color of their skin. After giving him instructions, his mom wished him well and let him go off for summer to his relatives. One summer day, Emmett was out hanging with a few local boys and his cousins. While they were hanging out, Emmett showed the boys a picture of his girlfriend back in Chicago who happened to be white. The boys didn't believe him and challenged him to go talk to a white woman in a local store there in Mississippi. Not being afraid, he went in and bought some candy. Before walking out of the store, Emmett was accused of saying, bye baby, to a woman before he left. A few days later, the woman's husband and her brother kidnapped Emmett. They beat him really bad. They also wanted to punish him for looking at a white woman, so they hurt his eyes before they killed him and threw him in the Tallahassee River. After the police found Emmett's body, they wanted to bury him really fast. This did not work because Emmett's mom refused and had his body sent back home to Chicago. After seeing what the racist men had done to her son, she wanted to let the world know how bad her son had been treated. So at his funeral, they left his casket open for the world to see. Now, the two men that were accused of killing Emmett were arrested but they were found not guilty by a segregated court, meaning it was a court with only white people from Mississippi. This made a lot of people mad and was a part of why people spoke up during the civil rights movement to treat all men as equals. Now this part of black history is very sad because a young boy who was just out messing around was killed because two men hated the color of his skin. And today, I want you to remember, just because someone may look different or act different gives you no right to hate them. As future leaders in this country, we should all go forth knowing that all men and women are created equal, no matter the color of their skin.